I've got one more and I finish at the top up there. So welcome back to another London Marathon training vlog where we're just four weeks out from the big day. Well technically it's three weeks when you see this but four when I'm recording it. Now this is the last week that I can really get some good quality in and this is the last week where I can really push a little bit. So I took that risk. I went for it and I just wanted to see how my body reacted. Everything has been trending in the right direction and I'm feeling fitter and healthier every single day which I'm feeling extremely grateful for. So with that in mind I'm just going to roll straight into the session and you can see how we got on. So welcome back to another London Marathon training series episode where we're just four weeks away until the big day. And I'm down here at Cannot Ponds, which you'll see very shortly. I'm just in the car park at the moment. And we have a big old session today, 15 by 1K off of 90 seconds easy jog recovery. It's gonna be a good one. I had a successful long run at the weekend uh, just gone. Hopefully you saw that video, which is hopefully, fingers crossed, put an end to this whole sickness malarkey. I'm feeling so much better. HRV's rocketing and uh, yeah, fingers crossed last Tuesday was just a little blip. So plan of attack today in terms of pacing and stuff is going to be simply a case of trying to run those K reps faster than marathon pace. I do want to try and cut them down as we go through the session. So I'm going to start off relatively... I'm going to say conservatively. I'm going to start off relatively calm-ish and then uh, just go go from there and see what we can do. That was the sound of a bicycle. That's my daughter on a bike. She's come to film the workout. So hopefully we can get some decent footage today. If she does, she'll get a fiver. So uh, yeah, we'll see how we do. Anyway, warm up first. Okay, so just had a quick 10 minute warm up. A couple of things that I always do before uh, my ride, I say always, this one has been for about two years. Pure Sport Freeze Roll, that goes on the calves, um, but more recently the Ketone IQ. Just a reminder, both the links in the descriptions for those. Uh, for discounts, this one in particular is coming to London with me. Very excited, so I'm gonna have a shot of this now uh, before I get into the workout. Have this, I'm also gonna have, if I can get it out of my pocket, a Morton calf gel, um, just to get something in my system. Put it that way around. So I'm gonna have that now, and then I'm gonna give myself five, 10 minutes, and we're gonna get into this. And just a quick reminder before we get into this video, it is sponsored by Say Sky. So a massive thanks to Say Sky for sponsoring this week's training series leading up to London Marathon, including the race itself. I'm actually now wearing one of their recent drops, which is from their Flow collection, which is their premium racing range. I've also got the classic uh, Combat XL um, Combat Plus shorts on where I'm stashing my iPhone in that side and my camera in that side. Usually it's going to be the gels. And this, this is going to be what I'm wearing, those shorts and a Flow vest, not the t-shirt i've also got some racing short uh, socks on which they've sent me from the flow collection which are super super light very grateful they've sent me the kit and of course you've seen me wear it in all the training series videos pretty much and they're offering a 15 percent discount so if i move here and point here you'll see fod 15 appear on screen you can get 15 percent off say sky items if you haven't already i keep raving about them the shorts are where it's at the pockets are incredible i don't need a belt for london I'll just be wearing these shorts with six gels in one side and my Ketone IQ in the other. So just a reminder, FOD15 is the discount code to use. A massive thanks to Say Sky once again for sponsoring this week's video.
Come on, Dash, you go in. You're so close. Well, you're not ready. Finishing five to go after this. Finish at the top up there. So there we go, we did it. Two weeks ago or three weeks ago, I managed nine Ks worth of work on a session. And now we've managed 15, the heavens have opened, the lightning is here, so the cool down can do one. We're gonna get back to the car. Also, rate my daughter's filming and tell me if I should pay her more than a fiver. Hey. Well, this is one way to finish a session. Cool down, cut short, lightning right over our heads. Back to the car it is. So there we go, 15Ks worth of work banked. I am genuinely over the moon. If I think back to three or four weeks ago, as I mentioned when I was out there, I couldn't even manage 9K and I had to call it at the end of the session. Endurance was absolutely shot and I was just still battling something that I just really wasn't probably letting my body get over. And I probably pushed it a little bit too soon there, but I've been closely monitoring things since last Tuesday and it looked like last Tuesday was just a little blip. I was watching my HRV and it just trundled down a little bit and it went back into the red just for one day and it came straight back out the other side. And to be honest with you, I think that long run workout last week just gave me the signal that my body was responding well. Heart rate came down uh, very quickly after that one. And so I came into this week after that sports massage uh, last week, just feeling a lot looser, a lot better, and in my body feeling really good. So I thought it'd be worth giving 15K a go. And with K reps, I just felt like I could just drop out at any point if I wanted to. I wasn't committed to any sort of longer uh, reps that I would feel like I was obliged to finish and maybe push my body too much. So I just took it a couple of reps at a time out and back. It was uphill slightly one way, downhill the other way, headwind, tailwind, hence why the splits were varying a bit. So I was just taking it, as I said, a couple of reps at a time and I was just over the moon that we could bank it. Now, just for reference, I did modify this workout slightly in the fact that I would normally float the recoveries. Uh, this time I decided to take a very easy shuffle because my endurance just isn't there yet. So although those splits for the K reps were my fastest times, I've done this workout now three times. The other two times were back in 2021. Uh, so these are the fastest K reps I've run, uh, but the overall session was the slowest average pace because I was shuffling the recoveries uh, rather than floating them. For those of you who don't know what a float is, it's just a steady jog recovery. Um, and I was just aware that I wanted to put the work in, kind of feel good, but also allow my body to recover. I have also done this in the past once with a 60 second recovery, and that keeps everything a lot more controlled. I was very tempted to do that, but I thought I'll give myself 90. Once again, for the simple reason being that I'm not up to scratch. I'm not where my fitness, well, I'm not where I want to be with my fitness, but this was a really good stepping stone. And to be honest with you, I just felt so strong strong and you know the best part although my heart rate is still elevated in terms of when I'm out on my runs my heart rate is now coming down very quickly post run back into normal parameters so I really do feel like now we've turned a corner just in time for London so once again as always I'll just say a few thank yous uh, first of all not to the companies but to you guys your support over the last few weeks has been really appreciated there's been a lot of concern in the comments I appreciate it um, fingers crossed we're out the other side now and hopefully we can kick on all eyes for me as I've said on many occasions now on summer training um, so yeah I'm fully focused on that now really 
excited to hopefully enjoy London. I'm feeling better about London now that I can just go there and run it and enjoy it without pressure, but know that I can do myself a little bit of justice. That feels good as well. Um, so yeah, just a massive thanks to you guys. Next up, of course, X Miles. Uh, they're offering a 10% discount if, for new customers if you use the link in the description below and get all your nutrition needs from there. It's where I get my gels and stuff from. Uh, Pure Sport, Muscle Balm and Freeze Roll. You saw me use the Freeze Roll in the video. I use it before every single run. Get the question all the time, how long does it last you? The Freeze Roll itself lasts me about five weeks. The Muscle Balm a bit longer because I use that just after every workout and long run, but not after every run. The freeze roll, however, is every run. Noble Pro Treadmill Specialist, they're offering a 4% discount. I've got one, they're absolutely fantastic. I love to use mine when I get a chance. As I said, link in the description below for that one. HVMN, they have been supporting me over the last few weeks, as you've seen in my long run workouts and in today's video, taking their ketone IQ shots. They're offering a 30% discount as well if you use the discount code FOD30. Uh, full details of that are in the description below. Um, Body Light Gear, they're offering you a 10% discount for reflective gear to keep you guys safe on all your early morning and evening runs. So there we go, we'll leave it there. Long run up next for me after this one. So that'll be the next video you guys see on the channel. Hopefully that'll go well. That's going to be the last big one with some good marathon pace work in there. Can't wait to share that with you. Fingers crossed it will go well. I'll make sure I feel well, hopefully sleep well leading up to that one and we'll give it our best shot. If it goes well, that's hopefully going to give me even more confidence going in into London. So there we go, we'll leave it there. That's it from me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do consider giving it a like, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe to the channel for weekly running content. I'll see you on the next one.